Hello all. I'm afraid I'm feeling a little under the weather today, having finally got that virus that was all the rage two or three years ago. However, the hamster wheel that is the YouTube algorithm demands a video, so I thought I'd do another one inspired by your comments. Or, to put it another way, I'm stealing your ideas. In my video about the abandoned stations around Tower Hill, a couple of questions came up more than once. One was, why is Cannon Street Road called that? And two, was I pronouncing Lehman Street correctly? Well, there was a third, which was, isn't 1842 to 1848 six years, not eight? Yes, I originally thought Cannon Street Road Station existed from 1840 to 1848. I checked it during the edit, and it turned out that it was opened in 1842, but I missed that I'd referred to it lasting eight years. Thank you to the 9,486 people who assumed that it was simply because I cannot do basic maths. Anyway, to the other questions. A lot of people asked, why is Cannon Street Road called that? Isn't that name a bit redundant? Shouldn't it be Cannon Street or Cannon Road? That is a good question. Often when a station is called Something Road, it's because the station is quite a long way from the town it supposedly serves. That's not the case here. The station is named after the street, word for word. So I looked it up. Actually, I found the answer to the question really easily. It's on the website for St. George in the East Church. The fact is, the street name is confusing now, but that's because the history of the street name is a mess. But to put it as simply as I can, this was originally two roads. The bit from the highway to Cable Street, this bit, was historically Cannon Street. Later, probably in the early 19th century, the rest of it was built. This bit was sometimes called New Road, and sometimes called Cannon Street Road. In other words, the road that led to Cannon Street. This confusion seems to have been resolved in the second half of the 19th century somewhat illogically. The name New Road was applied to the bit north of Commercial Road, and Cannon Street Road to the bit between Commercial Road and Cable Street. And then, for whatever reason, Cannon Street got reclassified as part of Cannon Street Road. I'm not clear exactly when that happened, or indeed why. Cannon Street Road has nothing to do with Cannon Street in the city, although I do wonder, with the increased connectivity across London brought about by trains, trams and buses in the 19th century, the local authorities felt that there was a possibility of confusion between the two Cannon Streets, and that's why it was renamed. That is entirely speculation on my part. Now the other question was Lehman Street, or should it be Lemon Street? A few people said that either they thought it was pronounced Lemon, or that it used to be pronounced that way. Now, this is an interesting point. English is a tricksy language. Long-time viewers will remember that I got caught out on the pronunciation of minories a couple of years back, because it looks like it should be pronounced minories. By the same token, I've never actually heard the name Lehman Street said out loud. So I did a bit of digging. The St. George's in the East website wasn't able to help me out here, although it did inform me that in 1921 there was a tailor here called Needle Stitcher. That has nothing to do with the street name, I just thought it was interesting. According to the Hidden London website, both pronunciations are used, but Lemon Street is more common locally. I did discover that the street used to be called Lemon Street, spelt the same as the fruit. It takes its name from a 16th and 17th century businessman and one-time Lord Mayor of London, John Lemon. He bought this area of land, which was formerly known as Goodman Fields, and built a bunch of streets on it. Lemon Street was one of them, and he also named Prescott Street, Aliff Street, and Mansell Street after his relatives. Now, that doesn't quite solve the matter, because firstly, pronunciation was very different back then. At the time of writing, I'm helping to direct a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. It's on from the 8th to the 11th of November at the Hampton Hill Theatre if you want to see it. Shameless plug. But what makes it a bit of a pain language-wise is that so many of the rhyming couplets just don't rhyme anymore. Elizabethan English would have sounded pretty alien to us. Complicating matters further is the fact that people weren't even consistent about their own names. William Shakespeare spelt his name in several different ways, and none of them were the version that we use today. 
So we don't know how Lemon pronounced his name. It's usually spelt L-E-M-A-N, but he might well have spelt it in the more citrusy way. I'm inclined to say that Lemon Street is probably the more historically correct pronunciation, but place names evolve and change. Remember my little hypothesis about Cannon Street Road? Well, I suspect that with improvements in transport and the demographics of the East End changing, more and more people who live and work there today wouldn't have that connection with the historic name. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, even if it was a bit thrown together. If you did, then a like and perhaps a subscription would be much appreciated. I would like as ever to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon and here on YouTube. You are the consistent street name to my inconsistent map. And I will see you all again very soon. Cheerio.